Hey guys, welcome back to Monoview. Today in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to live stream your Monoview security camera all the way to YouTube. Now this is gonna be useful for a select group of you, but it's an excellent tool to stream things like church services, sports events, or even daycare centers so that the parents can check on their kids during the day. So a lot of really good uses for live streaming. Uh, the trick here is that we need to live stream to a YouTube account. Now, before we get into this video, I'm going to just hit this right on the head. And that is in order to live stream from a YouTube account, you need a 24 hour waiting period for most accounts, unless you're well established with lots of subscribers. So right now, before we get into this video, I'd like you guys to log into your YouTube account or create one by going to youtube.com and signing up. And then once you guys are in your account, you're going to see this little symbol in the upper right corner says go live. And then when we click on it, we're hit with this, waiting 24 hours. So once you guys have done this, I will see you tomorrow, restart this video from this point, and we can go from there for setting it up. All right, now that we've waited our 24 hours, we are ready to go live with YouTube, but we first need to set this up as well. So in order to set up a camera for recording straight to the internet and streaming, we need to separate it from the NVR, which means that the camera needs to plug into a PoE switch, or it needs to plug into a power adapter and then be run to the router. Either way, if the camera is on the NVR, it won't work simply because there are security features built into it, essentially to make the camera invisible to the internet. So live streaming will not be possible from an NVR based camera. We have to put it on a POE switch. Okay, so now, now that we have the YouTube live streaming activated and we have that camera on a POE switch, I know it's probably a lot, but now we're ready to continue. So we need to log into the camera first and foremost. In order to do this, we need to access the IP address for that camera. So once you guys have everything plugged in, we're going to open up the Monteview Go application. And there is a useful tool here to find IP addresses for your guys' cameras on your network. So go to the home screen. We're gonna click on the plus button in the upper right corner. And then we're gonna click on online search. Now this is gonna scan your entire network and give you IP addresses for any camera on there. So we just need to identify which one is the camera we're going after. Mark that IP address down. And then we're gonna take this IP address and go ahead and log into it via a computer. Now this can be a Mac or a PC, as long as it's connected to the same network that your guys' camera is on, AKA the same router, then we're good to go. So once we're on that computer, we're gonna open up any web browser of your choosing. We're going to go to the address bar at the very top. We do not wanna do a Google search, but the address bar right up here. And we're gonna type in the IP address of that camera. So here I'm gonna enter in mine. And once you have that in, just hit enter. And you'll see we're taken to a login screen for this camera. For the username and password, it's likely going to be admin in all lowercase letters. And if your camera was previously on an NVR, it will be the same password that you use to access your NVR, or it's just gonna be the same password that you guys have always used for your camera. All right, now that we're in the camera interface, we're gonna go over to setting. It's gonna be in the upper right corner. We're gonna click on that tab. And once we're in the settings page, we're gonna to look to the far left and we're gonna click on where it says camera. Underneath of that, we are now gonna select where it says video. All right guys, once we're in the video section, there are a few things that we have to change in order to conform the security camera to YouTube standards for live streaming. One of those is the encode mode. This one needs to be switched to H.264. And you can switch this for both mainstream and substream. However, you're only gonna be using one of these to stream live. The next thing we need to change is the encoding strategy. We're essentially turning off smart codec. So here we're gonna select this and turn it to general. The last thing we have here is the bit rate. We need to change this to 4096. So especially if it's any higher than this number, it simply will not work with YouTube live streaming. So again, we wanna change that bit rate to 4096. All right guys, once we've made these changes, let's go ahead and hit save. And then we're gonna go over to audio on the left side. If you guys have a built-in microphone for your camera, we need to change the audio encoding. First of all, we need to enable it. Then we need to change the encode mode to AAC. 
Once you've made the audio adjustments, go ahead and hit save. Then we are ready to go over to network on the left side. Then we're gonna select access platform here at the bottom. Then up here, I want you to select RTMP. And the settings we need to have on this page are enabled. We need the mainstream enabled. We need custom as a choice. The port needs to be 1935. And in the custom address, here's where we need to get a specific set of numbers from YouTube. So now that you guys have access to live streaming, we're gonna go ahead and open up that web page real quick. From the YouTube live stream page, we're gonna grab the live stream URL down here. We're gonna copy that. Then we're gonna go back to the web page that has our camera settings. We're gonna go into that custom address and we're going to paste the live stream URL. Next, we're gonna go back into that YouTube page and then we're gonna copy the live stream key. Going back to the web page for the camera, we're gonna go into the custom address bar. We're going to select our cursor at the very end of what we just pasted in. Now I'd like you guys to put in a forward slash, looks like this. Then we're going to paste that stream key into this box. So ultimately you'll have the stream URL, a forward slash, and then the stream key, all pasted in this box. Okay, if everything looks just like mine, obviously except for your different stream key and stream URL, we're gonna hit save changes. Now hopefully shortly after you guys hit save changes, we're gonna go back to your YouTube page and you might have to wait a minute or two and we should see that streaming starts up and with a live video come up right here on YouTube. Now you don't have to keep this page active. I've played around with this a bit. You can close out and your stream should continue as long as your guys' camera is on and powered in through the network. However, if you guys are ready to end the stream, go back into your YouTube page and go back to the live section if you guys completely close out and then you should have the availability of end stream up here in the red. Now, one thing your guys' YouTube page will do is every live stream you guys perform, it will actually record and save it as content. So if you guys don't want any of these old streams to be saved, you can go over to content, then click on the live tab, and then you guys can delete that. There are some settings so that you guys don't have those recorded, but you guys can play around with the YouTube settings and kind of figure out what you want from there. All right, that is all I have for live streaming your security cameras to YouTube. If you guys have any questions on this process, give our tech support a call. We are here Monday through Friday. Keep in mind the YouTube side of things, we have limited availability to help on. However, if you guys need help with that camera settings or network setting up, give us a call. We're happy to help with anything you guys need. As always, I appreciate you guys checking out the videos. Please like and subscribe down below. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so help me get there. Thank you guys, have a fantastic day, and thank you for choosing Montague.